Hello everyone, my name is Ki Hong and I'm glad to introduce our work CMPT Lab today. We study panoptic segmentation, which aims to predict all thin and stuffed masks along with their semantic classes. Due to the complexity of the problem, previous approaches usually adopt a tree of surrogate subtasks. For example, panoptic and PN divides into semantic and instant segmentation, which is further divided into even more tasks. The whole process is not only complex, but also introduces many hand-designed priors when merging results from different stages. Recently, inspired by transformer semantic an end-to-end -end solution for panoptic segmentation with mask transformer has been proposed by Max Lab. In Max Lab's framework, an important part is that a set of learnable memory queries are dynamically updated by the pixel features, which are finally converted to mask and class embeddings that can derive panoptic predictions. In this pixel query interaction process, cross attention plays a crucial role. Conceptually, queries are updated by the following steps. First, it computes a future affinity between queries and pixels. Afterwards, it applies a softmax on the spatial dimension, converting the affinity logics into attention weights. Next, the attention weights are used to retrieve pixel features as an update for corresponding memory query. Last, the memory query is updated in a residual manner. As a result, the memory queries will be updated and converted to mask and class embeddings and correspond to a specific masking prediction. Nonetheless, the cross attention is applied without any modification and thus may not be optimal for segmentation. Besides, we still lack an intuitive explanation for its working mechanism. Actually, we observe two problems. First, we note that the final segmentation prediction is generated in a similar way to cross attention, where affinity logic is firstly computed and then converted to probability maps through a softmax on the memory query axis. However, even though similar to each other, the two formulations are different in the activation functions, which leads to an inconsistency between using and updating memory queries. Second, it is natural to expect all pixels in the objects should be activated for corresponding memory query, but in the visualization of max -deep lab, we observe a sparse attention map where only a few pixels are activated to update corresponding memory queries. Interestingly, we notice that the concept of cross-attention is very similar to clustering. Specifically, we may map the items in cross-attention to clustering as follows. We consider memory queries as class centers, each represents mask and class embeddings for an object. Therefore, the generation of attention map can also be regarded as a step of clustering assignment. Similarly, the update of memory queries is also similar to the update of class centers. For example, we may understand cross-attention when applied to an NLP problem such as machine translation as follows. Each memory query corresponds to a word in the target language, and it will be assigned to one most affinity word in source language as its update. When applied to panoptic segmentation task, we can interpret it as follows. Each memory query corresponds to an object in prediction, and it will be assigned to one most affinity pixel as its update. But this actually contradicts our common sense to the problem, where we usually expect assigning pixels to object during clustering instead of object to pixels. The problem lies in the activation function of softmax on spatial dimensions, which inverts the assignment relationship between objects and pixels. Therefore, by simply changing the axis of softmax, we can have a cross attention that is better aligned to the clustering interpretation. From a macro-level design, we further reform the entire mask transformer framework from a clustering perspective, while it performs the assignment and update steps iteratively. Finally, the final pixel class assignment corresponds to the prediction mask. From a macro lab design, the observations inspire us to reformulate the cross attention into two steps, pixel class assignment and pixel class update. In the assignment step, we compute the affinity logics between pixel and class centers, which is then converted to a soft assignment with a softmax on the class center axis. Afterwards, the pixel class assignment is used as a complementary term to the original cross attention and updates the class centers. Additionally, we perform a bidirectional update where well, the pixels will also be updated based on the assignment. The clustering view also inspires some other improvement, such as including coordinate and a pixel-level contrastive loss. As a result, the proposed CMT deep lab achieves great performance. Building upon previous SOTA max deep lab, it achieves 4.4 pq improvement on COCO and 2.9 pq improvement on cityscapes. For more results, please refer to our paper. Besides the performance improvement, we also observe CMT Deep Lab has a much denser attention map, which is preferred to generate mass predictions with higher quality. So here are some summaries and conclusions of the paper. Welcome to check out more details at our oral and post sessions.